Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to film for you my July poetry favorites. Not a lot of them this month, so this could be a really fast video. So I could draw this out, but I'm not going to. Let's just go. A couple new things I'm going to add in are quotes from movies. that I've been watching a lot of movies this month on Netflix because I finally have a television installed in the room that I can only watch Netflix or like five cable channels. So I've been watching a lot of Netflix. So I guess the first quote I'm going to read is from The Ledge, which I'm mentioning in my July regular random favorites. Once you understand that life is finite, you don't want to waste a moment of it. I think it's very true. I like it. It's very simple. And another from that movie is, it's always an inexplicable way to fall in love, isn't it? This movie, there are thousands more. I could sit here quoting the whole movie. There are so many just really brilliant things and awesome arguments. Next thing I'm going to jump into is actual poetry now, right? Finally, I'm actually reading poetry and not just quotes from random people, though this is pretty much what this video is gonna be. It's always what it is. The lovely Melissa Ramirez, the author of this book, Coffee Without the Sugar, um, sent me this and I started reading some of it and then there's one, it was the first poem in the book that I read and I was like, oh, I love. And something I'll say, like when people send me books like authors, I still will give you my opinion on it, whether I like it or I don't. I usually just say the pros and cons of it. But I honestly really, really like this. I'm about halfway through it now, and I'm hoping to get a book talk up on that next next week. So here's how it goes. Coffee without the sugar is. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the bottom. The last two lines, my favorite lines. Love is a full moon. There's always someone looking for a better view. You know it might not be here for the following night, but you're certain you'll see it again soon. But love can also be bitter, like coffee without the sugar. It's so simple, and I love it. I just, it's a simple thought. Like, what is that saying that I always go back to? Simplicity and complexity and complexity and simplicity, and it's just really eloquently said. That's how I'm, I'm just gonna stick with that. Words are loaded pistols by Jean-Paul Sartre. Right there. This next one is by Clemence Posey. It's kind of a chunk of thing, but I'm reading it because it's so much beautiful. So much. I am not fascinated by the people who smile all the time. What I find interesting is the way people look when they are lost in thought, when their face becomes angry or serious, when they bite their lip, the way they glance, the way they look down when they walk, when they are alone and smoking a cigarette, when they smirk, the way they half smile, the way they try and hold back tears. The way when their faces say what they want to say something but can't. The way they look at something they want or love. I love the way people look when they do these things. It's beautiful. This is from The Hottest State by Ethan Hawke. I didn't know he wrote books. Surprise! Don't you find it odd that when you're a kid, everyone, all the world, encourages you to follow your dreams. But when you're older, somehow they act offended if you even try. Speaking the truth. This is from Unknown. Don't let your tongue get your teeth knocked out. I think that's really funny and I like it. Told you it was a short poetry month. That's, that's it. Too much Netflix and not enough reading. I did finish Beautiful Oblivion though and that should be up right around the time that this video along with my random favorites gets up so keep an eye out for that. Check the description. Check my main video thing. It should be there. It should be there. Let's be honest. I'm gonna be editing like crazy. So yes, that is all, and I will see you guys later next month with hopefully more poetry? Let's hope. I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's always an expl- <laughs> Word she shouldn't have said. Oh. <laughs> I can't read it.